Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rax here. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, get a quick start guide on how to get uh, Project Zomboid mapping going. Alright, let's get started. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Steam. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to be 100% frank with you, is I am actually just following the Indie Stones one-stop tile Z mapping shop. Um, I know that this is available, but uh, I feel like by looking a lot of the mapping communities that this is not used a lot. So just wanted to get pointed out to you. So uh, step one, how do we get our tools? Uh, so if we follow this one, here's going to be the link, right? Uh, the latest version of Tile Z is going to be here. Um, they basically also give us like the buildings, um, uh, the worlds and the buildings you're working on, uh, etc. So you can go ahead and go into the Indum forums, excuse me, Indie forums, and then be able to obtain the most up-to-date uh, files and folders. Uh, here we go. Latest Tile Z, World Ed, and Tile Zets. Right, here we go. So these are the Tile Set images you can download for Windows. Here is the Tile Z, which is the um, actual editor for um, Tiles. Uh, not the wor and but the world editor is there, so it's two programs. Most people will get the 64-bit, some people will get the 32. But let's say you don't do any of that. We can simply open Steam, go to the library. In the library, we're going to go to this drop-down right here. Mine's already checked, uh, but do you want to check this tools box? So, for example, if it is unchecked, which is the default, uh, here are going to be all of your games. Now, I have favorites that are selected. Most people would just have their games alphabetically listed. If you go to Game and Software and click on Tools, this will turn on all. For me, it's 109, all tools that are going to be available to you. Uh, then you simply, in the Uncategory section, go down to P, and you find this one, Project Zomboid Modding Tools. Uh, when you launch, there's three options, Game Editor, Map Editor, and World Editor, but there are only two programs. Um, now, here's what I recommend first and foremost. Uh, first and foremost is you don't need Steam or like to launch it from the Play in order to be able to use these programs. Um, however, Steam will help install and or ensure that these programs can first get started. Um, what I recommend is doing what I did, which is effectively pinning these two programs to your taskbar or your Windows men start menu, whatever for you prefer. You can also make shortcuts on your desktop. Um, because what will happen in mapping later down the line is you will basically need to have both Tiles Ed and World Ed open at the same time. So if I hit Launch Game Editor, this is going to go ahead and open Tiled, right? Uh, this is going to open what I was working on just now. Uh, earlier, I'm going to close these out, but basically this Tiled is what helps us uh, paint on tiles, etc., etc., by choosing some type of tile, and you can paint on it. We'll get to that in a later time. Uh, for you, it'll probably just look blank and empty like this. Um, that is okay. Once you have Tiled, again, uh, you want to go ahead and pin this to your taskbar or make a shortcut for your desktop so that you can open it without Zomboid. Uh, because if I hit stop here, it's going to go ahead and close that program. Uh, what we do want, so that's Tile Z, so these two are the same. And over here is the World Editor. Uh, when I hit play for the World Editor, this is going to be, um, it's going to go ahead and open up what I was last working on. Right now you don't see anything because it's on my other screen. Oh dear. <laughs> Looks like I have to wait for it to load up um, before I can move it. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, so this is what I was last working on. This is the map that I'm uh, working on most recently. Uh, we'll get to this part uh, uh, at a you know later point. But basically, this is what we're going to end up doing. For you, when you open this program, again, it's just going to be blank and white. Not a problem. Cool. Um, so these two programs, again, you want to go ahead and... Um, Pin this to your taskbar. Make a, a on the make a shortcut on the desktop. These two programs are going to be the programs that you use, right? Um, in order to edit the game. For example, I don't need Steam anymore. I'm going to close it. The third program that you would need is going to be something like GIMP. Um, that's going to be this one here. Um, it, you can also use Photoshop or Paint. Um, that being said. I personally recommend GIMP because of the ability to use layers. GIMP is effectively a 
um, Linux version of Photoshop, which means that it is free um, and it has a lot of the Photoshop like uh, functionality, uh, which is really useful. Uh, when I open it, GIMP stands for, as you can see on the top, GNU Image Manipulation Program. And this effectively will allow us to use tools, um, these kinds of tools, in order to draw the map. This is where we're going to go ahead and draw the rough draft of our map. That's how we're going to add vegetation layers. And that's how we're going to create the zombie spawn map at an accurate level. Um, great. So that's going to be the tools that you're going to use. By the way, where did I get GIMP? I literally went to the start menu, searched for the store, the Microsoft store, and then inside of the Microsoft store, then I just went to the search. And as you can see from previous, I just typed in uh, GIMP, the GUI um, image manipulation program. Now it was giving me other options, but you can see here it's the little dog. Uh, it is free, as you can see. Um, once I clicked on it, for me, it's going to say, right, it's already installed. For you, you can go ahead and download and install. Um, because it's used from the Microsoft Store, then you can know that it is a safe um, program to use. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be the tools that we're going to be using. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.